Welcome to the second part of this tutorial. And in this part, we are going to look at the lights and the animation of the main scene, which is the scene where the three bottles are present. If you haven't seen the first part of the tutorial, I'm going to leave the link down below and in a card somewhere in here. It's important for you to see the first part since I teach you how to model the bottle and how I made the materials. So without further ado, let's get started on how I set up the lights. So the lights in here are really simple. We have four lights. So we have the top light, this is the effect. It's just to illuminate the overall of our bottle and to have in here these nice reflections. Then we have just the back light. The back light is for us to have these nice highlights that you can see in here. And then we have the one in the bottle that is pointed to the bottle, which is this side one. So we have more lights coming in here and we have this part a bit more in shadow, but it's not completely in shadow since we have our top one and our back one and then we have one more which is the background it's just to create this uh, circle or on our background and it's a really small area light that I have in the background I'm going to show you each one and you can copy if you want now the one for the back of the bottle the one for the bottle the side one and our top light for our background the small one which is the only one that is a bit different. The only one that is that has a color. Here is the color if you want to copy. And this is basically it for our lighting. So now for our animation, I want to recreate the animation from this bottle, from the clip that you saw in the beginning. I want it to go up slower and then have a little jump to go up faster, like that. And then have this drop. And in the final shot, we also have other two bottles animating and going to the sides. I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to also show you how to animate the camera. First, let's start with our bottle. The first thing that you need to do, we need all our objects to be uh, connected. And so what you need to do is click on the cap, click on the label, and then last, click on the bottle itself and then Control or Command P and set parent to objects keep transform. And one last thing that we need to do create our empty because our empty it's going to allow us for us to animate our bottle but I still want to animate the bottle itself just rotating itself for us to be able to do that we need an empty so shift a go to empty cube scale the cube and now what I want to do is click the bottle and click our empty and again comment or control p object keep transform and now when I click my empty everything follows so let's start animating first click on my bottle just the bottle and the label has to be like around here, maybe. And so I'm going to insert a single keyframe because I only want the Z to be animated. And now I want to click on my empty and I want to click again on the Z, insert a single keyframe, but on rotation, I can just click E because I want the three axis to be actually animated. So go to frame 60. And what I want to do is go G and Z to go up and now Click R twice, E, and insert single keyframe. Okay, so now we have a problem. This is linear. By default, Blender plays our keyframes as linear. So it starts slower, goes a little faster, and then it goes slower again. But we don't want that. We need to go to our graph editor. So click in here, graph editor. And we have all our keyframes in here and I really want everything. If you are not seeing everything like this, just click A to select everything and then normalize and it's going to appear like this for you. And one, one other thing that I want to do is go in here on your pivot points and change to individual centers. I want to be able to scale each individual keyframe. Okay, so now that we have our individuals selected, individual centers, what I want to do is scale this last frame way, way the ones in the beginning as well like so but this need to be way more like maybe like this do you see this so it goes up slower and then it goes fast and it slows down again and if you want this to be more extreme just select this last ones and scale them even more so now what we need is to animate the drop from 60 
to 70. So go to frame 70. And now I know that I want my X to go back to zero and my Y to go back to zero. So now I want to insert a single keyframe and insert a single keyframe. As you see in here, our graph editor just changes. Just so you can see, we have our X and we have our Y going really fast. If you want it to go faster, you can select this part and scale it. I left it as it is, it's fine by me. And so if you don't want the movement to stop completely, like the bottle stops in here and then it goes down, you can always select this keyframe and R and rotate it like this, as you can see, and it goes more linear. It doesn't stop completely. It's not going to be flat in here. As you can see, our bottle doesn't stop completely. This is it for our main bottle. And now we need to animate the other two bottles. And to do that, it's really easy. Go back to frame 60. And now I want to select everything. Our label, our label, our bottle, our cap, and our empty. And I want Shift D to duplicate and right click. And again, Shift D and right click. So it stays in the same place. And so now we have our bottle number one, our number two, and our number three. I'm going to go to my top view and I want my other two bottles to start uh, actually behind this one so they are not going to intersect with our main bottle. So we need to change our X in our bottle two. Control C this and Control V on our empty three because I want the second bottle to start in the same place and we won't be able to see it in the camera because it's right behind and it has the same animation. But now I want one to go to one side and one to go to the other. So to do that, I'm going to click on my empty two, my second bottle, and I want to animate the Y on frame 60, insert a single keyframe and go to frame 70 and just move it to the side. I'm going to actually control C to copy this, but first insert single keyframe, right click, insert single keyframe, go to R3 and paste it, but just take the minus. So it goes to the other side and they are actually all symmetric. And so now, I need to insert single keyframe and I forgot to animate the bottle in here. So I have to go back and insert zero, insert single keyframe. As you can see, we have our bottles coming to the side. So the last thing that we need to do is animate our camera. So our camera, let's go back to one and it's going to start like this. So go to the Z and insert a, insert a single keyframe on frame 60. I want it to go up and insert a single keyframe. But then we have the same problem. It's, it doesn't have that ramp. And so we have to play around with our graph editor. It's linear, we don't want it to be linear. Just push this and push this one more, like so maybe. It's following basically the animation of our bottle. And so now we just have to go to frame 60 to 70 and do a push in. So I need to go to 60, click, make sure you are on your camera and this is what we need to animate. So click insert single keyframe and now go to 70 and go push in. Maybe in here, insert single keyframe. And we have our animation. The only thing that I animated actually was the lights and you can do the same that we did in here. It's the same principle, so you can do it yourself or if you want to, you can download this scene on my Gumroad store. The links are going to be down below and the label is also going to be down below for free. And you can actually see how I animated the other two shots. But what do you learn in this video? It's enough for you to recreate what I did in the other two shots. I hope this was useful. And now you know a bit more about keyframes and about animation in Blender. And yeah, please like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next week.